All right, so we're 100 yards out. I want to see how you hit the shot, but how would you normally set up to the shot, or like what would you do? Well, I mean, I'd like I reach in the reach in the bag and grab the club that's the right distance. And Which is what? I uh, hit a 56. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and aim for the center. Okay. Like that's yeah. Pretty much basic, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Just hope yeah. that it works out good. Yeah. Is there anything you do uh, specifically, like in your setup? Um, I think for this, uh, you know, dep I guess depending on how windy it is, I might try to like, deloft it if I got it, get it a little yeah. bit farther than I normally would. Okay. But no other thought really no, beyond I'm, that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what you do. Yeah. Okay. So looking at your setup here, uh, grip looks great. Um, the weight could be a little bit more on the left side. I would say it needs to be 70 where you're at 50, 50. Um, and the handle could be a little bit more forward press. But consequently, okay. when we look at your takeaway, mm -hmm. um, I would say that the handle is, I mean, properly like away from the body here. When you look at the trail arm though, one thing I'm noticing is as you go back, that the trail arm is folding up a little too early, okay? Okay. So if we can try to feel that you keep pushing the um, trail wrist away from the body when you go back, that'll create more width of arc okay. to the top. And then if you can drive that trail palm, letting the trail arm go from bent straight, that will help you with supporting your proper impact to get rid of your flip. Okay. 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 But it all starts with basically in the backswing, making sure that we're properly pushing, and from there, getting the proper width, and then we can maintain that by driving trail palm through the impact position. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. One, the few things that we want to tweak is at a dress, we wanna put a little bit more weight on that lead side, 70%, okay? Because okay. you were 50-50. We wanna have the handle forward press to the middle of the lead leg. And then from there, when we go back, we talked about trying to stretch the trail arm out away from the body like this, using the trail palm to create more width. And then from there, that will allow us to get shallower from the top, if we keep that trail wrist cupped, trail arm goes from bend to straight at impact, that will give you a perfect path-face relationship, or we'll say hand-to-handle-to-face -hand -to -hand -to relationship, to really hone in on his wedge play. So let's let's try making these changes, okay. and let's see what happens. And so, yeah, weight, weight needs to be a little bit more forward. That looks great. A little bit more sh shaft lean. Yes. Good. And, and what keep, are we going to do in swing? Keep pushing away. Okay so that I can bring that in and then push it through. Okay, perfect. Let's okay. see what happens. So how'd that go? It felt very smooth. Closer. Well, that ball really checked up nice. Yeah. That was yeah, really good. Yeah, I got some good spin on that. Did it feel a little bit um, more compact with your swing? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely did, yeah. Because when you create that wider back swing, you don't feel like the club goes up so high, right? Right, right, yeah, right. yeah, and that like, and it gave me the, gave me the ability to come through. Perfect. Forward press properly, and then when we look in swing, this is the one noticeable thing I see is that your trail arm right here is kind of picking up and folding a bit too early. Where here on the right, we're going to see more of a lock arm, and you're going to see more connection, no lifting at all. Notice how your backswing, you have a little bit more hinge actually on the right. You weren't even thinking about it. Just from pushing more, it actually supported being able to create a better hinge. So when we look at it again from the top, we look at downswing, impact, a little flippy. Look at this one on the right. Look at, look at that. Yeah, more face stability. Look at that release too. You're controlling the release, like the roll action of the hands better because you're getting the width of pushing with the palm in the backswing and also pushing when you come through. So when you look at here on the left side, it looks a little bit more just flippy and again, like lead arms kind of bending a little early. See that? Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a big improvement. All right, so great job again today, man. Thanks. We really covered the setup. We got you set up better here with the handle forward, the weight left, and then we talked about getting that width of arc. Um, trying to push with the trail palm, trying to keep that trail arm extended more, and then trying to drive that trail palm when we come through. So you're getting more of a compact swing. And the biggest thing though, we're perfecting more so your hand to handle to face relationship. So speaking of compact, we have our compact club. And this thing right here is going to escalate your game 
the best because you can practice anywhere, anytime because of the size of it. But it helps you understand also a better visual of the hand to handle to face relationship because it is compact, it's shorter. So I can really see the twist better. I can feel everything that I'm normally feeling with a golf swing or like a normal golf club. But the idea is that, you know, just really perfecting like what is going on with my claws, with the handle, with the face. And if we understand that, it's perfect. So compact your training, expand your game. Yeah.